By how thick the manual is, you'd think the instructions would be thorough. That is definitely not the case, but they do have it translated into every language in the universe. I filmed this video on a whim, and it ended up taking over an hour to assemble this thing. I did my best to edit this video in a way that will save you loads of time trying to understand the instructions. In some cases, they don't even include important steps. Now I'm sure they have better instructions and maybe videos on their website, but I was filming with my phone so I was left with the booklet. I will be releasing a future video testing the laser on a bunch of different woods and metals. Optimal power and speed levels will be included so you can just screenshot and have the info. Stay tuned. All right, this video is going to be the unboxing of the Orter Laser Master 2 Pro S2. So right out of the box, you get this, um, this. Got a manual, looks like some quick instructions. First thing out of the box, couple of tracks. We have a line some mounting brackets, a metal chain with uh, the wires. This looks like it's gonna be very fun. Connection wire, oh, some aluminum, cause this thing can engrave aluminum, I think. I don't know about steel. A little tool kit and some brackets, eye protection, a 3D printed piece. Ooh, the laser head. This is the power supply. More rails. Another, okay, so this is the power ballast, this is the power supply. Then we have this guy. I'm gonna start with these guys. So I have your Phillips head screwdriver ready. So, a screw goes in here. You have two longer pipes. The screws go in those to the two shorter ones. And there's an inside bracket. Zeros go on the same side. Cool. Hmm. Front, looks like have this guy on the back here. All right. You get a little bag of these things, and those go in here. to put these in. Oh, in the front and back. So another thing you want to do before you tighten her up, you want to put these in for your legs. So we spent an hour putting this together. And one thing that is not in the instructions at all is you have to add the track that goes around this thing. It goes through two little slits in the feet, um, on three of the feet, but in the main board here, it doesn't have a slit for it. So we just kind of wedged it between this and the front plate. See how it goes. We'll see how it goes. You put two of these little guys, looks like in the top here. All right, so I'll show you this. The limiter switch goes on this side. So I'm imagining when it rolls over, it touches it. You wanna put your, see these things? You wanna put those in before you tighten everything up. Two go in the top here, below here. You can kinda of see them. So now we'll take our main board assembly. I use just one of their other tools to push the nut where I need it. There we go. 
So now you need to attach something to under here. So that was attaching this wire loom holder to that corner. This one goes right here. Two M6 screws, so some smaller ones. So, when it says to connect your wires, it's talking about this giant loom thing. There you go. This cable loom here, which is kind of a pain in the butt. And you're going to want to screw it in. Now we get our laser module. Next, your 3D printed little thing goes in the front here. Now, you want to plug your big wire in. All right, so these two little wires go under your switch plate here. The black one goes on the inside and the red one goes on the outside. I'll show you what I'm doing. Going over to here. I'm gonna put the the directions kind of have this out of whack because but if I don't use the directions I have to do double work we already learned that it seems pretty on there red seems like this is a ground that goes somewhere all right so this ground gets put on this screw wow so before you plug in your thing, put this ground right here. So on this one, black goes on the outside here, and then red on the inside. So this is the next wire. The side with the ground goes at the laser, and then the other side plugs into here. Cool. Looks like they only give you two of these things. Okay, there's no directions for this one. Here's an air tube. It does not tell you how to install the air tube. So, I don't know what to do. But I think we're done here.